her tooth while riding a hoverboard. She saw this video of him pulling out her tooth while he was riding on a hoverboard. I said, hell no. She has no idea since she was sedated. What he did was outrageous, narcissistic, crazy. There it is again, then just goes off on the hoverboard. Still can't believe that. I mean, come on, it already makes us nervous enough to go to the dentist, especially when there's going to be a procedure like that. Uh, your dentist standing over you with the sharp tool. They're going to pull your teeth. And yes, Doc's on the hoverboard. How about that? And there's the woman you heard from. She is out. She's sedated. No clue what's going on. Oh, there he is. He does his job. Pretty proud of himself on the hoverboard. And away he goes. Gloves off. Job well done. Well, not so fast. As, uh, let's listen to that patient one more time. Said hell no. No. I mean, that's, that's so unprofessional. What he did was outrageous, narcissistic, you know, and crazy. Uh, that's just one of Dr. Seth Lookhart's uh, patients speaking in court because he's on trial. And it turns out that the hoverboard's the least of his troubles. He's facing more than a dozen charges, including Medicaid fraud, reckless endangerment, and unlawful dental acts. Let's bring in Bob Bianchi, criminal defense attorney and host of the Long Crime Network. Bob, good to see you. So let's start. Let's get back to the hoverboard. Start with the obvious. And I know I'm sure I speak for a lot of our viewers. I don't want a dentist or a doctor, for that matter, doing anything but their job. Again, we see the dentist on the hoverboard there pulling that woman's teeth. And then we also have, as we go back in the history book, a doctor, Dr. Boutte, who was dancing while performing plastic surgery. She ended up uh, losing, losing her license. So back to this dentist on the hoverboard, reckless endangerment's the charge. That's going to be easy to prove, isn't it, with the video we got? Yeah, you know, Mike, these people make me laugh. I've always said, as a matter of legal principle, don't go to a dentist that's on a hoverboard, a tricycle, or a skateboard. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. But, you know, this guy is out here performing medical procedures and joking around. It's serious business. People have died in the dental chair, have had serious injuries. And, and this kind of thing just lends itself to reckless conduct. And I know that he may have thought that it was funny, uh, but when you combine that with the issues that he's dealing with with the Medicaid fraud, I'm, I'm betting they wipe the smirk off his face. Yeah, for, for sure. What kind of punishment do you think is fair here, Bob? It, you know, it's hard to say. This Medicaid fraud is pretty solid, this case. And, and essentially, so your audience knows, he was basically charging people that didn't have the money uh, to go under anesthesia. This is really bad, Mike. In other words, you could have done it with a different, you could have done it without being under anesthesia, but because they were under anesthesia, Medicaid would have to pay for it. He did it with multiple clients, and he emailed Basically, hey, let's do the Medicaid thing so he can get paid. I think the government's going to look at that very negatively, especially since he was in a position of responsibility. I would look, I'd, I'd be saying he'd be looking at a five year in that range sentence. For yeah. That. Well, and, and you mentioned it. Yeah, we, the hoverboard, we have the video here, so that grabs our attention. But the more serious issue is what you're talking about. You know, you, bottom line, you're ripping off the government, right? I mean, you're doing what is uh, the accusation, unnecessary procedures. I think people are being put under unnecessarily just to get some more money and even charging at a higher rate. That's serious biz, isn't it? Well, as a prosecutor, the way I would be looking at it, and it did many times when I ran an agency would be the fact that he's taking taxpayer dollars for what he's doing there that are meant for a specific reason. These doctors are trained very specifically on what is appropriate and wasn't appropriate. And he was pro providing an unnecessary and more dangerous procedure to the patient by giving them, putting them under just for his own financial gain. I, I don't look at that kindly as a prosecutor. Yeah. Well, and it, it, they're in a, a dentist, doctor for that matter. It's a position of trust. Right? I mean, we, we look to them, our health is at stake here, and we trust the decisions you make on our behalf. Absolutely, and that's why you need to be beyond reproach with these things. But, you know, can you imagine the poor position that these, these people that didn't have money were under? They had to be told that in order to get dental services that they desperately needed, that we have to do a more serious and life-threatening uh, procedure in order for you to have the procedure. And just imagine what they had to go through with all this. Each one of those people were violated. There it is, bottom line there. All right, Bob, thanks so much. We'll be checking back with Bob here uh, in just a moment. Now this.